Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. So now I have this laptop to review. This is the Asus. Uh, this is the G550J uh, 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 laptop. This is in their Republic of Gaming uh, line of laptops, or, o, or ROG, uh, which stands for Republic of Gaming. These are gaming laptops that have uh, uh, a higher GPU built in than your normal laptop, than say like the integrated uh, GPU on a chip. So let me first kind of look, go over the hardware uh, inside of uh, this, and let me go ahead and type in my password to get to my notes here. Um, inside of uh, the computer is, uh, I believe this one is spec'd out to have eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it has a Core i7 uh, 4710 HQ Haswell architecture uh, processor. Uh, it also has um, uh, the, uh, uh, which is it? I'm looking for my notes. The graphics card is the, I had it right here. At least I thought I did. Uh, I know it's the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 8850, I believe. Um, let, me, let me check that one out because I don't want to get that wrong. It is the, yeah, 850M with uh, two gigabytes of uh, virtual memory. And uh, inside there are two different fans so th for cooling, which is kind of nice because it does keep the computer quiet when, uh, when resting around. The display is 15.6 inches. This is an IPS display and it does have a matte finish. And this is a non-touchscreen display. It is running Windows 1.8, um, so you won't get any of the touchscreen features. Uh, this is a full keyboard. On top of just being a full keyboard, it also has the numpad on the side, which I really, really enjoyed. I love numpads. I am a numpad user, and I like to type in uh, my, my numbers uh, with the numpad. Uh, it also has uh, speakers built into the bottom. They're right underneath uh, this first little wing right here. Uh, so there they are, right there. But also included in the box is a little subwoofer, which you could travel around. That's what this is kind of sitting off to the side. This has its own special port on the side of the laptop, and it's that micro, uh, micro headphone jack. So this is smaller than your normal headphone jack. It's kind of a one-use item with this subwoofer. So to kind of, kind of demonstrate that, I'll just play a little bit of music. It's definitely very, very loud, especially with the subwoofer in, uh, attached. If I were to unplug the subwoofer, of course, you get a lot less sound and a lot less bass. It actually kind of becomes a little bit tinny without the subwoofer. But once I plug it back in, it becomes much fuller. It kind of makes me feel like uh, I wish they had just built this right on end, but of course it takes up a lot of space. This is a much heavier speaker. Uh, the subwoofer is also a little bit portable with having a removable bottom, and then you can wind up this cord and then lock the, uh, the connector here into the bottom and then throw, throw this cap right back on, which is kind of nice. So if you wanted to carry this around in your backpack, that's what I would see uh, using this this for. Uh, without it, the sound does sound a little bit tinny. Uh, another feature of the laptop is that it has this key right here. On one side you have the power key, on the other side you have just this plain old key. This is called the Insta key, and this is an Asus uh, sort of proprietary thing. So whenever you click it, it will do whatever you've predefined for it to do. So if I'm going to click it once, it's actually going to open up a browser for me. If I click it a few times, it'll open up multiple browsers, which uh, a few of uh, the Twit employees were trolling me uh, before by just smacking that Insta key a few times. If you want to change its function, you click and hold it down, and it'll bring up the Insta key sort of configuration configuration menu. menu. Uh, and in here you have a few different options. You can either do an app, you can do volume fading, you can go to a website, open a presentation. This countdown timer I thought was going to be a cool timer, but it's a countdown timer 
on uh, either just three different settings to shut down the computer, to sleep the computer, or to hibernate the computer. But if you wanted to do that in two hours, you could quickly hit the key, walk away from your computer, or start to fall asleep to music, and your computer would shut down off of the predetermined time that you had done before. I had it selected on instant app mode, which would open up Chrome, and you can choose any of the applications that you have installed on the computer by going to your programs file and just choosing the executable. So that's the Insta key feature. I kind of found that useful. Asus also has uh, a cloud uh, service where it'll bring in uh, different cloud services. I really didn't use that. It's to me that that was just a software feature that came bundled in. In terms of bundled software, there is a lot. There's the stuff you kind of expect, like uh, Wild Tangent Games and Kindle. Netflix was pre-installed. Basically, all of these apps that you see in this pane right here are the pre-installed apps. And then, uh, uh, so I, I did have to deal with that, which was a, a little bit annoying. But in terms of bloatware, this gets a, a okay. There is bloat wheel, bloatware installed, but not so much that it becomes unfun to use. So let's get into the pros and cons. For the pros, one is the price. This, uh, the base model of this, which only includes uh, two gig four, two gigabytes, is $1,069. So the price is pretty nice. Also, uh, this has a physical DVD drive. I didn't even cover that. Uh, on the side here, there is an actual DVD tray, which most computers nowadays don't have this. I put this in the, in the pro category, because if you're buying this, you have to know that it's coming with a DVD drive. This is not a Blu-ray drive, this is just a DVD drive. Um, but this might be a really big factor for a few people who still need optical media. Um, and then uh, finally, the keyboard. I really enjoyed having that numpad. And then also the ports. And so I'll t mention the ports here. On one side you have your power, the port for the, uh, the subwoofer. You have a NIC, which is really great, HDMI out, uh, display port two USB uh, three ports and one that has uh, extra amperage, a headphone and microphone jack. And on the other side, you have the DVD tray, uh, another USB three port and an SD card slot. So I was really happy with the amount of ports on the side of the computer. Moving on to the cons, I found the trackpad to be a little bit uh, unresponsive and just incredibly frustrating. Uh, I Every time that I would use it, it felt like it was very difficult to know when I had clicked. Uh, I tended to rest my thumb somewhere in the middle of the right click and left click. This might be something that uh, after a lot of use, you just get used to it uh, and knowing that when your thumb is on one side or the other. But overall, I found this trackpad really, really bad. Another thing was the finish. You can see already, just from this review, there's smudges all over this computer, and it is a smudge magnet. If you check this out, you can see all the little fingerprints that I've ever done on this computer. So that's a con, because the finish didn't quite uh, hold up to actual use. I do like the trim. That would probably be a, a pro. It's kind of simple. has red. This is a backlit keyboard, which is quite nice as well. Um, and then finally, on the cons, uh, I didn't really like the speakers. The speakers sounded tinny when you didn't have the subwoofer installed, but carrying around the subwoofer kind of feels like a really big bu bummer. I didn't really like uh, this extra subwoofer. Uh, uh, added to the whole setup process. So, buy, try, don't buy for the Asus uh, G550 uh, J. This is going to be a try. Uh, I'm giving it a try because it was a little bit hard to write. Oh, and I forgot. I forgot to mention uh, the uh, the the graphics card was great. I I've, I've been playing uh, games, Borderlands Two, uh, Civilization Five, that sort of stuff. Those aren't incredibly intensive uh, games, but uh, I found that the graphics the uh, the extended graphics card was very very nice to have on on the laptop. Um, so uh, it's hard to recommend a gaming computer to an everyday user is why I gave this a try. For the price, I think it is really amazing. If you look at other uh, competing products, just for laptops, not even for gaming laptops, uh, let's say the MacBook Air, uh, this is a, that's around the same price, 
But with this, you get uh, a really large hard drive. This is a 750 gigabyte hard drive at 7200 RPM. That's a, phys that's a spinning drive, not an SSD, but that's a lot of space. You also get the DVD drive and you get the graphics card. And that's for about the same price as a MacBook Air. Uh, and so that's something that I really, really liked. Um, the 1080p screen seemed fine, um, but it's... I, I, with the trackpad issues and the fact that it is very large and, um, uh, and, the, and there's no feature about this that I would absolutely jump up and down and, and say, hooray, if this was maybe a 1440 uh, display instead of just a 1080, uh, then I'd say absolutely buy. But because it doesn't have any super big distingu distinguishing features, I'm going to give this a try for the Asus G550J laptop.